Welcome back, folks. It is 5.08 on this wonderful Monday evening. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather right now as we take a look outside at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. That sunset is on the way. We have some overcast skies as we look over the valley and actually same as we look towards Montrose. We've got those low lying clouds, those overcast skies, a little bit of that snow accumulation in those higher elevations. And as we get into these later evening hours, we're going to continue to have these overcast overcast skies, these low lying clouds, these elevated humidities that later tonight are even going to cause some low visibility if you're headed driving through those valleys. That'll even continue with us into tomorrow morning with that fog, but that will clear on out by the time the sun rises tomorrow. And I actually want to chat about up on the Grand Mesa. We're going to notice overcast skies. I took this screenshot just couple minutes ago and we really have very low visibility in those higher regions right now due to those low lying clouds that I mentioned. But those low lying clouds are almost acting as a blanket to keep a lot of these warm temperatures sticking around at least for tonight, but not just because of these clouds, but because we're continuing to actually have a warmer climate stick around. We can look forward to these warm temperatures for the foreseeable future. There is a slight chance for some moisture through the middle of the work week, mostly focused focused in the uncompadre areas and even the San Juans maybe up to five inches of snow accumulation, but really minimal at that. We'll continue to watch these models as they roll in. Likely Tuesday evening is when we're going to note just how much snow we might receive. Again, we're ending January super warm six to 10 days out above normal temperatures, eight to 14 days out still above normal temperatures, and that's even spreading towards the front range and over into Utah. We're going to notice nationally we are. We do have a low pressure trough, and that's going to cause some moisture through the Great Basin little bit over the four corners region, but again, locally, we're still looking at warm skies, a little bit of some clouds, but really warm, and that's going to continue as this high pressure ridge builds off the west coast and continues to make its way on over to get those temperatures to stick around for the long run. Now, I did mention some possible moisture over those southern regions very quickly moving on out, yeah, even through Wednesday afternoon, scattered showers at that, but very quickly clearing on out. In terms of a magnifying glass on all of that, those overcast skies are here to stay but then of course we're fast forwarding into Wednesday a little bit a little bit still sticking around into those Wednesday p.m. hours before they very very quickly move on out of the region currently we're still feeling warm 46 in Grand Junction, 45 in Moab, 44 in Montrose. Further east, we're feeling 30s right now and we're going to notice in our almanac that on both sides of things we are well above those seasonal averages. 51 instead of 39 during those afternoon hours is what we were feeling today. Tonight, we're still feeling warm. Upper 20s, 30s for the valleys. Tomorrow, also feeling quite pleasant. And I know I haven't talked about it in a very, very long time. It's been cold, but I have some of our very own pups from in the studio. I've got Regan, uh, Reagan, excuse me, and Pink for those dogs of the week this week. Please feel free to send me a photo of your dogs at jsage at carryxtv.com because these warm temperatures are here to stay during those afternoon hours. 40s and 50s can be seen. Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast backs me up on that. Sunny skies, lots of warm temperatures, even on that low end of things. And guess what? Same kind of trend for Montrose. Above average temperatures are here to stay.